We'll repair that. We'll repair this. These gouges right here. This little gouge here. Cracks right here. So we're gonna get rid of all that and hopefully make this thing look like new again. Oh, of course there, there's a nasty gouge right there. Let's see what that looks like on the inside. Ah, that's actually going all the way through. Not good. First pass with 80 grit. I know 80 grit is really <laughs> radical, but <laughs> There were some high points in there and I just needed to get rid of all this stuff quickly. I used this guy right here and I'm gonna go with 220 if I can find it and progressively go finer and finer. Okay, so here's a really good example of a problem you're gonna run into when doing any kind of body work. Usually when you have a collision of some sort you're gonna get low spots and this is exactly what that is. If you notice that is still the color of that, which means when I'm sanding over this, this is low because my sandpaper isn't reaching it with the board. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scratch, I, I'm actually gonna take some sandpaper with my fingers and I'm gonna rough that up, get rid of that. And then I'm gonna put filler in here. The filler needs to go a little bit higher than what the rest of the surface is. Then I can smooth it over and feather it all in. That's why body work costs so much money because it's a slow, laborious, and exacting process. We're getting there, but we've got a long ways to go. Okay, now that we have a little bit uh, better lighting here, just want to show you the difference. This is sanded down in the 400 grit. That's where we want to be. This is where I can put on some putty in some of these low areas right here sand that out and here I'm going to show you where it hasn't been sanded yet and there's no scuff yet so once we get it all to this putty primer sand one more time maybe twice maybe one more glaze putty and another shot of primer base coat clear coat yeah it's a lot of work the putty is done there were actually more spots than I anticipated to begin with, but hey, I was doing it, I might as well just finish it. To uh, break down the putty or actually uh, sand it down, I went 180, then 220. Now I'm gonna go over it one more time with 320 and then wet sand it with 400. We're about ready to spray the primer here. Everything is feathered in. There are very few places that I actually went down all the way to the bumper. I'm not gonna use adhesion promoter because an adhesion promoter is for bare plastic. There is a little bit, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Here's the first mist coat on there. Very light. Let that dry a few minutes, say about 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna put a second coat on there. So here we have three coats of primer on there. Now this primer is actually a filler primer. So it builds up pretty thick. And even so, there are some, some areas uh, which is kind of predictable, but let me see if I can catch this right on the edge you can see that right there that line the edges are always a problem because that's the first thing that gets sanded away and so those have to be filled up here's another one right there Let's see if i can catch that one it's real hard to yeah, i think you can see that see that that line right there i'm thinking of putting a um guide coat on there which is basically a different color primer like black or red and just mist it on there and then when you sand that down you can see the high and low spots on that so might as well do it since I've gone this far although it looks so much better already I mean 
all in all, I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. So hopefully it'll continue that way. I'm helping the guide coat along a little bit here with a heat gun. This wasn't like a super duper coating. It's just basically a misting on there of that red that contrasts the gray. So then when I sand it down, the low spots will show up with the light red and everything else will be sanded off. All right, in case you guys didn't know what a guide coat is for, you see how there's a low spot right there, okay? So a guide coat will help you sand more where you need to sand. So now, like over here, there was a ridge like that too, and I just kept sanding it down. So that's what I'm gonna do over here. That's what a guide coat is for. It'll let you know where you need to sand more and where you're already good. Better example, right there. Now watch what happens when I sand that down. All right, there you go. I used 500 grit sandpaper, took that edge right off. So now when you put the base coat over that and then the clear coat, it'll look beautiful. That's what a guide code is for.